Yes, folks, I am still doing my January thing, which is I'm making videos about movies I've seen that are getting sequels this year. So let's continue with... Godzilla. So this Godzilla movie came out about four and a half years ago, and it was really a reboot of the Godzilla franchise, which has been around since the 50s. Those old black and white man in rubber suit monster movies that are super famous, and there are like a million of them. There was an attempted remake in the 90s with Matthew Broderick, to my pride, I've never seen it, because I heard it was really bad. This one, however, got some pretty good reviews from a lot of people. I, however, am not its biggest fan, and I'll touch on why later on. But to start off this movie, we got Brian Cranston, who's actually great in this movie. In fact, he's so good that he's really the only character I ended up caring about in the entire film. I'm being serious, because he has some really good, like, emotional moments that you completely buy. The problem is, he's really only in the first maybe half hour, 45 minutes of the movie, and then he's gone. And you get your main character, his son, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, and his wife and son. So the movie spends a lot of time focusing on this family. Yeah, this movie called Godzilla, which is a Godzilla movie, is focusing on this family. Okay. If you remember when Kong Skull Island came out, in my review of it, I said that if a monster movie's coming out, I don't care about your family, I want to see the monster wreck shit. This movie is a perfect example of what I don't want a monster movie to be. And look, I get that the movie's building up the anticipation, and I also get that in the original Godzilla, Godzilla didn't show up until the end, but maybe it's just my inner 12-year-old going, I want to see Godzilla! I mean, throughout the movie, we get to see a lot of his spines coming out of the water, or you see his tail for like a brief second, and it's not until about halfway through where you actually get a good look at his face and you see him roar and even that scene is a tease you see his feet stomping on the ground the sound effects are really good and then it pans up and it shows his face and he goes eh! that Godzilla roar but then it just cuts right to the next scene I mean talk about a tease because the thing is and this is kind of a spoiler the movie came out four and a half years ago if you really cared you would have watched it by now there are other monsters in this movie they're these big pterodactyl like things called mutos massive unidentified terrestrial organisms and there's two of them so in the middle of the movie one of them is wreaking havoc at this airport and Godzilla just shows up and that's when you get the big tease it pans up and then it shows him roar and then it cuts to the next scene you don't see the fight and again I get that it's building up the anticipation but in the meanwhile it shows Godzilla show up and then it cuts to the family and the family just bores me. I mean, Aaron Taylor Johnson's character for Brody, he's a lieutenant in the military, and he's trying to figure out what these monsters are, what their deal is, how to deal with them. And you also have Ken, is it Wantanami or Wantanabi? I've heard both. He plays like the main scientist in this movie, and his role to me is just kind of laughable, not just because his lines are pretty hammy, but while he's saying these hammy lines, he looks so serious while he's saying them. We call him Gojira. The arrogance of man is thinking that nature is in our control and not the other way around. Let them fight. I'll admit, let them fight is a pretty awesome line. In fact, at this point, it's a classic line. Because when it gets to the end of the movie, finally, we get to see a pretty awesome fight between Godzilla and the two Mutos. And yeah, it is completely awesome. I just can't really say it was worth the hour and a half of teasing leading up to it. But yeah, the fight is amazing. There's a lot of destruction going on. Buildings are just collapsing. Godzilla and the Mutos just tear shit into each other. And it is absurdly entertaining. And it ends with one of the best deaths ever in any monster movie I've ever seen. I don't know if I want to spoil it, then again, you probably know what I'm talking about, even if you haven't seen the movie, because someone's probably spoiled it for you. It's awesome. The score is also, I'll say it's effective. It was done by Alexander Desplat. At that point, I really only knew him for doing the last two Harry Potter movies. This score is very loud and monstrous, which fits into the movie very well, because you get the gravity of the situation that's going on, which is we now live in a world in which titanic monsters are among us. Like the opening credit sequence has great music. It really establishes a tone right out the gate. And that's what I can say for this movie. The tone and the atmosphere of the whole movie it's pretty good. The movie does do a good job at being realistic, or as realistic as it can be, and making it feel like, yeah, this is a world where these monsters exist, and how would humanity react to that? I just, when I saw it for the first time, I remember being bored by a lot of it because there were not a lot of big monster fight scenes. Might also be because the first time I saw this movie was in D-Box, which is the moving seats, and since there are not a lot of big monster fight scenes, it was kind of a waste of money. But that's what I can say about Godzilla. It sets out to do something, and it succeeds in what it's trying to do, which is set the tone for this monster verse, which is Warner Brothers' new franchise with all these monsters, Godzilla, King Kong, and others that are coming up, but I just didn't get enough Godzilla in this movie, and that bummed me out. Here's hoping I enjoy the sequel more. I mean, we got three iconic monsters that are going to be facing off against Godzilla, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than one awesome fight scene. So Godzilla, the 2014 reboot, have you seen it? What did you think about it? And what is your favorite Godzilla monster of all time besides Godzilla? Mine? Dude. Ghidra. I can't wait to see him in the sequel. But whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And... Don't forget to subscribe.